Sorry. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. What's going on, guys? I'm the Walrus Jedi, and welcome to the video on Nemoidians. So, if you like this video and want to see more of these alien species videos, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more alien species videos like this in the future. And as well as you can, in the comments, request the next alien species. All right, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So first up, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit into the planet and then the species. Nemoidia. Founded as a daughter world of Duro, Nemoidia evolved its own culture and lifestyle, until one day when the Nemoidians suddenly wanted to change it all back. Founded circa 25,000 BBY, Nemoidia was one of the earliest Duros colonies, benefiting from the head start the Duros had earned by reconstructing the Rakatan hyperdrive. The planet's steamy humidity proved unpleasant for its settlers, who soon launched their own wave of colonization. The resulting purse worlds of Koru Nemoidia, Deco Nemoidia, and Kato Nemoidia answered to the trade monarch on Nemoidia, but their influence on interstellar commerce soon outstripped that of their parent world. Left behind on the galactic stage, the planet took to calling itself pure Nemoidia to distinguish itself from its spin-offs. Over the millennia, Nemoidia became known as a dull place of grub hatcheries and automated farms to be avoided by the ambitious at all costs. Its hothouse jungles crawling with brainworm rot and freighter-sized harvester beetles slowly became regimented plots of leaf fungus and manax trees. Agricultural exports lifted off hourly from the capital city of Koto Sai. By 15,000 BBY, the Duros on Nemoidia had diverged enough from baseline stock to be considered a distinct species. The Nemoidians continued to pursue interstellar trade, while the Duros distinguished themselves in the fields of navigation and exploration. In 350 BBY, the Nemoidians spearheaded the creation of the Trade Federation to regulate commerce in the Rim systems, enriching the planet beyond its deepest dreams. But the Trade Federation's involvement in the Battle of Naboo backfired. Stung by that debacle, the Nemoidians suffered further humiliation after finding themselves on the losing side of the Clone Wars. Following the death of Viceroy Newt Gunray on Mustafar, the Empire dismantled the Trade Federation. Brought to their lowest point in history, many disgraced Nemoidians chose to cloak themselves as Duros in the hope that they could escape the stigma attached to two-time losers. All right, and now some extra info on the planet. It has a desert terrain. Its diameter is 10,830 kilometers. Its length of day is 29 standard hours and its year is 221 standard days. 400 million is the population, and the Nemoidians are the sentient species here, and its makeup is 95% Nemoidian, 5% Duros. The language is Pak Pak, or Nemoidian. Government is corporate. Major exports are foodstuffs, medicine, and botanicals, and imports are technology, and it's in the Nemoidia slash Nen system. Nemoidians. Since Nemoidians are the descendants of early Duros, who settled the planet of Nemoidia in the colonies region, they exhibit many physical attributes of their ancestors, 24,000 standard years of development in a distinct environment, however, have given them slight facial and body differences, jawlines are lower, in addition, bodies are thinner and longer, while Duros have blue-purple skin with bright red eyes, Nemoidians have gray-green skin 
and dark red or pink eyes. These color differences have been attributed to specific chemicals in Nemoidia's atmosphere. Like Duros, Nemoidians hatch from eggs and grow from a grub stage, but Nemoidian young are raised in communal hives from birth and have access to limited amounts of food. Many die as a result, and those who survive learn to hoard their rations. By the time they leave the hives at age seven, they are extremely fearful of death and extraordinarily greedy. It is for this reason that they are primarily a race of merchants, not warriors. Rather than fight in a battle where there exists a possibility of dying, Nemoidians will typically surrender, turning and running or sending others to battle for them. This was exemplified by the Tread Federation during the Clone Wars. Nemoidian leaders amassed an army of droids to serve as soldiers, pilots, and fighters. Nemoidians are commonly seen wearing flowing robes and impressive headgear, every element of which has some special significance. Indicating an individual's place in society, they are obsessed with status and influence. Extortion, bribery, and other forms of manipulation are not beyond Nemoidians in their quests for wealth, power, and prestige. They will always try to hide nefarious activities behind an altruistic facade in order to protect themselves from embarrassment should their schemes fail. Their ability and need to handle funds contributed heavily to their rise to the top of the Trade Federation ranks, a commercial regulatory body that was particularly influential in the years leading up to the Clone Wars. After centuries of running the Trade Federation, the Nemoidians' control of the organization subsided when the Republic began taxing the trade routes they had established. This set them back a great deal, and their delicate financial control over the Federation began to crumble. After a particularly humiliating defeat at a trade blockade over the planet of Naboo, the Nemoidians lost whatever reputation they still possessed. During the Imperial period, bereft of power and position, the Nemoidians turned to a desperate means for regaining their status. Seeing how respected their Duros cousins were in the galaxy, they made overtures to reunite with them as a culture, a proposition that was initially rebuffed. But with the rise of the New Republic, some Duros eventually allowed Nemoidians to work with them in corporate ventures, as they do handle money well. This contact seemed to have a reciprocal effect, influencing Nemoidian culture for the better. And uh, obviously, Nemoidians feature heavily in the Phantom Menace, you know, Newt Gunray and Rune Hako. And uh, you do see him in that, but that, I would say that's where they are most prevalent. All right, that is some uh, information on Nemoidians as a species. Very interesting that they uh, are an offshoot of Duros. That's cool. Yeah, so let me know what you learned, if you learned anything at all about uh, the Nemoidians, in the comment section down below. And. If you uh, feel like it, you can let me know the next alien species you would like to pick in the next uh, video. Maybe you would like to uh, learn about the Duros side of things, or maybe some other species. Yep. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and until next time, thanks for watching.